Hey, what's up, you guys? It's MC Lego Boy here with 7171 Moss Espa Pod Race. Contains 894 pieces and was originally $90 when it first came out in 1999. Its remake is 7962 Anakin Skywalker and Sebulba's Pod Racers. Here's a picture. Now, the pods, they look accurate. The only thing that I don't really like about them are um, how they're scaled. The Bulbas pods are pretty decent looking, but they're just way too close to each other. And it just doesn't look right. And the Anakin's pod seems like it's just right, but still. Uh, the figures that come with it, I don't know why Obi-Wan's there. He wasn't ever in the pod race, so I don't <laughs> fail. And let's see what else. Uh, Wald, okay. I would have preferred Kidster. Um, Anakin looks fine. Uh, Sobulba looks way too cartoony. Um, and Watto, he looks pretty awesome. So, uh... This set is gigantic. I'm serious. Like, I'll, I'm gonna have to have a two-parter on this. Uh, the first part will be Anakin and some other stuff that I built to go along with this set, and then uh, the second part will be Gascano and Zapolis. Seeing as those two are very similar to each other, believe me. All right. Um. So yeah. Here, we'll go over the box for a second. The instructions. This is what one instruction looks like. Yeah. You're probably going to get two instructions with the new one. Uh, this set, I don't know what it's online, but it, it's kind of expensive. On the back, and showing everybody building their stuff. And then, out of this one set, you can make a whole bunch of little vehicles, or just three big vehicles, whatever. But, I mean, like, <laughs> a lot of stuff. And, when you open this up... It actually comes with a box for each pod and their minifigures. So, this part, we'll be reviewing Anakin and all his friends and people. So yeah, uh, first thing I'll review is this, just to get out of the way. Basically, it's just where uh, Chop the Hut is, took his tail off, did uh, things like that. Here's the giant gong, and then here's the things that he's eating. <laughs> it's a Tuscan Raider head, what do you want from me? Um, and then here are the lights, so one more lap to go, oh my god. So, yeah, that's pretty much it, no. Okay, the next thing we'll review is this. It's basically just the pillar thing that everybody goes on. Um, we've got Kidster down here, which is basically just another Anakin. <laughs> Thank you to family friends who gave me a ton of Legos. Um, there turned out to be a Naboo Starfighter in there. So, I got another Anakin, and all I did was just swap it with black hair. And then I made Shmi Skywalker. Basically, an Anakin uh, body that has um, a girl face and brown long hair. 
and I have another one of those little control panel things that either came in the uh, the T16 Skyhopper or it was either or it was um, an extra Watto junkyard piece um, figures while we're still trying to think about it uh, here you go you got Anakin simple and it looks cool hmm burning is a little weird on mine oh well um and I like to have the goggles down so arg Alright, R2-D2, we all kind of know what R2-D2 looks like, simple enough. A set also comes with Padme Amidala. This is an ugly Padme, just gonna say it. I mean, like, she's not even, like, remotely smiling. I don't... <laughs> it's the only Padme you ever get in all the Star Wars sets, and... You get that? That's just gross. You get Qui Gon Jin? Yeah, man. And awesome mullet. Love the mullet. And then Jar Jar Binks, please don't hate. Jar Jar is a major character. If you think about it, he's the guy that helped win the Battle of Naboo. Um, he's also the guy that basically gave Chancellor Palpatine powers to, you know, start the Clone War and come to extreme power and become an Emperor. So, yeah, don't hate him. You also get blue and yellow flag. Here's the pit droid. It's got multiple little pieces all put together to make this awesome looking pit droid. Looks awesome. Uh, you can find these guys actually in the movie um, at the pod race. There's actually one that's completely brown, except for a small bit of them. Uh, a guy that looks like this, and a guy that's uh, got a bunch of white. So, they are actually in the movie. So, kudos to you, Lego, back in 1999. Whoever was working on this set and made this set, you rock. Now we're going to start messing with the pod. Pretty good. Um, got printed pieces. These doors. Uh, piece up there. Um, this is probably like one of my favorite sets. Um, there was a set that where it was just Anakin's uh, pod racer, and it came with Jar Jar Binks, a pit droid, and Padme, and Anakin, and this. So basically, all they did was just copy this and then throw it in with two other pod racers. So, pretty cool. Very nice use of pieces here. You got two tire pieces, basically, or two wheel pieces, all stuck together by a pin. That's cool. Very nice colors. Uh, got posable pieces everywhere. So, I've got it like that. That way he can turn. Um, little levers and such. Uh, I don't know why there's a gray piece here. Because there's the same piece that's in the um, that's in the chassis 
I guess that's what you would call it, or the cab, or whatever, um, that's actually tan, so, um, and uh, I'm not complaining about how they're doing the new pod racers, where they've got these transparent pieces, if they would have done that back in 1999, this would be cool, so, uh, and then you got these ginormous Whatever they're called. <laughs> These are just cool. <laughs> so. So, yeah. Uh, this is a fairly small pod, seeing as it was all made at home and everything. Uh, I do that, that way it's got this cool look to it as it's flying by. Very cool, gotta say. So, now we will move on to part two. So, see you guys in the next one.